already hey, going? look, there we oh, are. We're, we're a like... little low because I wanted to see okay. everything. <laughs> um, <laughs> let's see if I can. I can scoot back. Okay. Maybe. All right. We'll do that. Yeah, there, there we go. <laughs> okay. Um, Geometry. <laughs> Physics. I don't know what it is. It's something. So it is uh, when this, we're pre-taping. Right. So, so this we're not should live. be coming mm -hmm. on the Tuesday before Thanksgiving. Yeah, so so um, <clears throat> the 26th. So mm -hmm. we actually thought it might be fun to talk about some crafts and things that maybe you could enjoy with your kids your kids and your family i know friends um, you know people are busy in the kitchen maybe on thanksgiving and mm -hmm. people are bored other places in the house <laughs> right and also i think uh some people might be thinking about doing some um decorating but yeah if you have a gathering that includes um people of different ages we thought that we might that it might be nice to give you some um ideas for uh for that for that time also, just for yourselves, if you have a gathering that is uh, blissfully quiet with no people of mixed <laughs> ages and just yourself, then I um, yeah you enjoy. could love any one of, uh, one <laughs> of these really. Do whatever you want. Um, some of the things um, mm. I feel like we've we've made just for the shop. Some things we've made <laughs> actually for our own holiday mm -hmm. events. So um, we just thought they were really fun, so we wanted to share them with you. Right, but, and um, we do have a mix of things we've talked about over the years. And some new things too. Right. Um, some of them we find are just like timeless, totally for us. So, right. That's why so, we're we, not reinventing the wheel. So <laughs> no, to speak. not really. So, <laughs> but we did want to kind of cover some of the supplies that you'll probably need. And obviously, yarn is one of them. Mm -hmm. You know, you'll want to have yarn sparkle. This one is sparkle. Um, and little fluffies and holiday colors, that kind of thing. And obviously, you know, your basic tools, scissors. I think a glue mm -hmm. gun is very important. Regular glue. Yep. Um, you'll, you'll probably need some little pins, just little straight pins. And if you don't have a glue gun, you know, like crafty glue could work yeah, too. Yeah, right. I was actually going to use the regular glue for our our trees, our yarn trees. But other things you might want to have on hand are like some smaller embroidery hoops. And funny oh. enough, hmm. these Giant are curtain, cur curtain um, rings. rings So mm -hmm. that I salvaged from a pair of uh, curtains. So hmm. um, I didn't know at the time. You never well, know. well, I do with those, but I have them. You so I guess you'll find out what those are for. Maybe some, you know, shapes. The, you, we got these at Hobby Lobby. Yeah, um, Michael's, Joanne's would yeah. have these. And, you could cut um, out also cardboard. Yeah, you totally mm -hmm. could. And then we have a star, uh, styrofoam little cone shape, but you could have styrofoam balls, you know, all different shapes, whatever mm -hmm. you like. So you'll see what we're going to do with that. Right. So. And some things that you might, um, in prep for all of this that you don't have on hand, might be these adorable Joe's Toes cut out felts like as far as gathering supplies right um this is going to air on the tuesday before thanksgiving we are open on the tuesday before thanksgiving but we are closed on wednesday right so if you feel like you have to have these come on tuesday and get them i know and we've got lots of shapes and we'll cover what we're doing with those in just a minute yeah your yarn i feel like you probably will have you know right. yarn stash you might not have sparkle but Bigger, you might not have yeah, um, there's little accent these sparkles. Kind of sparkles or um, sequins mm -hmm. and shiny stuff. And we you love might that. not have like these things that you have to go to a craft right. store to get. Some clear ornaments is um, what they if are. If you decide, you know, oh, I need to do that. And so, those are just yeah. fun. But one thing about the yarn that I've noticed, um, it things go a lot faster when it's bulkier. <laughs> True that. Exactly. But that's that carry along tinselly yarn is not oh, bulky and no. it is the I best I would say you'd want to probably accent. put it with some like carry it with something else maybe I mean by itself is fun yeah this will you, take a while yeah and yarn scraps like these are just some yarn scraps mm -hmm. so and we have yarn scraps out the wazoo from yeah. our winder and so you so, could definitely come and grab some of those right. if you want we've yeah. got them like we I save know. them because we I've used them away. for all kinds of stuff. Mm -hmm. So, but those are good. Okay, so first, what we want to do, um, like kid, kid stuff. So stuff that's kid friendly. Mm -hmm. So the ornaments. So the ornament balls, <laughs> like 
I know. Two-year-olds can do yeah, this. Yeah, this is like, you're just going to stuff this in and actually this little tool, any random if I can pick it needle, up, crochet yeah, hook. Yeah, just something, just, just pop it in there. And this is where little bits of sparkle kind of comes in handy. Um, so let's see, maybe this will work better. I know, don't cram, like use, like just the, you don't have to cram it in. Like it's probably yeah, you don't more want... fun, takes longer with little people to use like one little string yeah, at a time. It takes, yeah, it takes longer. More time to yeah. keep them busy. More time so, to get them tired for a nap. That's right. So yeah. But so people that will, of all ages yeah, you know, love yeah. doing this. So then, you know, you've got a little ornament to give grandma. Mm -hmm. We've, um, you know, you can string these up, make a whole garland, decorate yep. your room. Yep. Um, all the things. Super fun. Okay. I think they make them in glass too. They do because my mom used mm. to paint ornaments. And oh, so, yeah, they do. And then it's mm -hmm. kind of fun too, actually. You can put acrylic paint on the inside and maybe mix it thin. But and then you, your yarn wouldn't. Right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Don't yeah. do. These We're, are mostly these are yarn, yarn crafts. <laughs> but if you want to do painting, that's okay yeah. too. Yeah. But anyway, if you want to do these with kids, they do make the plastic ones. And I think they have like mega containers of them. So we've if got you were lots having of different. A, yeah. You can. Even planning sparkles like, in there. These could be fun if you were doing like a cookie decorating thing uh -huh. or something with kids to have as like a bonus. Right. You know. Like a take home. It's like you need to have separate um, stations. Okay, mm -hmm. here's your cookie station. Yeah. That way, you I wish know, I'd known about busy. these when my really crafty daughter and, was little. And she why would have didn't that. we? I mean, it's like an obvious thing, really. <laughs> I don't I know. Mean, it wasn't, I don't even know how we came up with these, honestly. We did them a couple of years in a row, like as at, a, at our other shop. As an activity. Yeah. On the Small Business Saturday to come on That's in. That's what yeah. we did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we fun. could do that. Okay. We could. All right. So, okay. another little project mm. that some kids like and so this is actually a toilet paper right you take a toilet paper roll we should have brought one and you cut it into like oh yeah um, like strips like you don't cut, cut it flat the brim so of the hat is like strips like you like are cutting out cut out cookies with the toilet paper roll okay it's like you know you with a serrated something uh-huh you um make little um sections from your tp roll or your, I yeah, right. or a and, paper towel roll, and then maybe. and then you make you wrap it with yarn, mm -hmm. and you make a little tassel, but then you push it back through, like see, and then we stuffed it. Yeah, so these, so you're like knotting. We we're not. This is sort of lame, guys. I think you can look this up on the internet. <laughs> we didn't have it's time to do idea. like a demo for everything, and we don't have an extra person for the camera, so <laughs> you get to see it in the uh, finished state. Mm -hmm. But it's a, I don't, it's a yeah, it's toilet a pretty paper easy. roll hat. So you basically are looping yarn around, tying. Yeah, I don't think it's a full-on knot. You can actually see on the edge yeah. where we just um, mm -hmm. like slipped them in there. And then you pull all those strands through and tie it at the top, stuff it, some stuffing in, and bam. bam! Cute. Yeah, those are fun. They are cute. Okay. Then, another cute okay. activity. Okay, and this is, I think, fun for adults and kids. Mm -hmm. So Well, so is this. Oh, yeah, everything here mm -hmm. is. And honestly, you probably will need to be the adult in the situation anyway. So, Or you have teenagers who want to be right. surprising, who are one, bossy. Okay, one time <laughs> um, I was I had knit and made these the little felted um, gingerbread people. Mm -hmm. And um, I was trying to get the kids to actually decorate them. And they're like, oh, Mom, that's so lame. And I'm like, okay, fine. So I just sat there and started doing it. And all of a sudden, people started, like, pushing me off the chair. Oh, really? And um, that's when um, Maddie and Alice, like, they took over. They took over. They made them into... Um, we have like a big bird cage oh, yeah. kind of by the front mm -hmm. and they decided that was a jail quote unquote mm -hmm. and so all the figures that they made they made them look like yeah. people that were in jail and they cut them apart and um, sewed them back together this would be fun for kids and um fabric paint mm -hmm. these guys yep. and like uh sequins i mean so fun without needle and thread right or yarn and thread <laughs> um piggies just super oink, cute. Oink. Mm -hmm. 
So the wrapped stars is where we started with these little wood frames, but like we said, you could use cardboard mm -hmm. and then use some pretty shimmery yarn. And this is where the sparkle yarns and sparkle the little add-ons um, come in handy. I started one with just some of this blue sparkle that I had. And one tip that I would have, and this is where the glue gun sort of comes in handy. Of course, you need to have adult supervision with that. But for the tips, mm. to keep the yarn on the tips, because that's kind of hard to keep, to wrap really mm -hmm. and stay on. Mm. So don't be afraid to, to mm -hmm. do a little bit of that. And this is where, you know, I thought, look at this pretty sparkle. <laughs> Mm -hmm. We can have more Beautiful. sparkle. Like there's the all more, these. These are the Yep, that's how we feel about it. This one. And you know the nice thing about these glitters mm -hmm. is they don't fall all over the floor like actual glitter. Oh, yeah. So if you live with the anti-glitterati, which I know there are a lot of them uh -huh. out there, this is a good way to go without. Yeah, the sequins without are having on lots here. to clean up. Yeah. Yep. Nice. Yeah. Okay, so that that's cute. And these, um, the posy patch, right? She gave yes. us these. Yes, she did. Because she got, yeah. she's got some cute, she has some, she does some, she, she has a booth. Has that, a booth where is that um, place? It's the, um, I don't know what you call it, but it's, it's on State Avenue. It's where the IGA grocery store used to be. And now it's like filled with, that would be really fun. I bet they have a lot of Christmas stuff up it's, right now. Yeah, it's some crafting thing, some crafts that people make, some jellies you know all that kind of stuff yeah. um and some vintage stuff it's cute it's i don't cute know if it's there. called montana made or mm, i but know i can't remember it's in Sorry. the state avenue grocery store uh-huh old one so. and but she also does like marketplace magic is that what it's called do they still have that i think so do they at the metro yeah the junior league yeah not sure <laughs> um but anyway uh crafting fairs around yeah. town this time yeah. of year yeah. So anyway. Okay. So those are fun. Mm -hmm. All right. Next. Next what? Oh, uh, yarn trees. Kids? Nope. Oh, uh -uh, no. no. So oh, these. these too. I love these, and I these are all ones that I have made and used. I actually made this one for Valentine's Day, but I had the pom pom yarn, so mm -hmm. that was pretty Cute. fun. But you can use. Oh, twine. Um, yep. Wow. Mm -hmm. And I added uh, wire icicles around mm -hmm. that one you know i think i've seen these for sale in the garnet hill catalog well i can make those for you so yeah. you don't have to pay a dime for it mm -hmm. um so on these though this one i use like a little sequin with and the pin, pin through it mm -hmm. to give it a little sparkle, sparkle and i did sparkle. um i do start the yarn at the bottom and this is when i do a little bit of glue mm -hmm. to kind of hold it in place mm -hmm. And it does take a little patience. You could do this if you're watching a Christmas movie because you want to layer everything really nicely. This might not be as like kid. Friendly. Not it's got necessarily, a, a but certain kid. Kid slash getting into adults. Yeah. And I use these for um for table deck really mm -hmm. for like my Christmas table. So it was they pretty are fun. cute. It's a really pretty. Um, pro looking DIY, I'd say. I, I mm -hmm. and I feel like my my table did look pretty this cool. This doesn't look super pro, but it it's looks pretty cute. Adorable. And that would make like even I love doing things like that for the place settings on the mm, table. Like yeah. a little gift for everybody. Mm -hmm. I love that. <laughs> oh. Oh, there you go. <laughs> okay, and then and then do like um a pine cone nose. Oh, there you go. <laughs> you could do a little snowman. I know. Yeah. Do a little okay. orange nose here. Seriously, if you just sit down <laughs> and have this stuff out and let the juices flow, I think I know. you could have it's a pretty really fun. great memory. We made yeah. these one time. Those are here great. Here at the store. Little styrofoam balls, and we got little, little tiny, these are actually little tiny, um, we ordered these, I think, the little. The fake knitting needles, yeah. but they're not. They're maybe um I think pick. they're. They were pins for keeping things in place, oh, if pins. I remember right. right. Yep, we got a whole bunch. <clears throat> oh, we should, I wonder if we could still get those. Those would be fun to have. Well, we might um, still have them crafties. somewhere. But yeah, that was, that was fun. 
Yeah, so All more ornaments of ideas. for grandma who's a knitter. Mm -hmm. Those are the best ornaments, the ones that you kind of I know, really and those will be keep. the ones you you know you'll mm -hmm. have forever. That you keep. And let's okay. see, I think there's maybe. Oh, sorry. Oh, one other thing, just um, an easy thing to do with yarn, the wrapping presents. So, oh, um, well, you might not be there um, not the quite. day after Thanksgiving. Yes, but. but this is a fun way to decorate gifts. So um, I'm always struggling to find some ribbon, and um, <laughs> it's all right. But this is a cute, just simple way to wrap your presents, you know, economical, reusing things that you already have oh, in the yarn. store. So, yep, mm -hmm. yarn yarn wrapping. So In your yarn storeroom? Use that for your rib your ribbon. Yeah, I, I have started really doing that full on. I do it a lot. Mm -hmm. but Although I do love a big ribbon too. Uh, but me too. Yeah. sometimes the combination is good. All right. The the then um, okay. we have some great ideas for just knitting mm -hmm. for if you want to knit things for the holidays. So you could have, um, okay, if, if you've got the whole gamut of ages and also skill levels. You probably don't have a bunch of knitters in your I'm house for Thanksgiving, which, boy, wouldn't that be fun. Uh -huh. Back your chair up a little bit. Your head's cut and chopped mm -hmm. off there. There we go. But then I feel like I'm really too far <laughs> away. But anyway. Um, okay, so we, we've done these, like, we have, we've done these for years, seriously. Right. And Before we opened the shop, we were doing these. <laughs> yep, I had a bunch of um, really fun, like, fancy yarns there there are many cute. of these out there if you search on Ravelry um, you know wine bottle toppers this will come up um, this one is called this is your new one right yeah with the bell I made that last night and it took me like 30 minutes to make it and the sewing up I did this morning and that did take a little longer but not not really you know an hour tops for those right Okay, so what? Which one is this? This doesn't have the name. I didn't I think print the name. I think it's just the stocking hat. It's a it's a combo. We the will, um, person we'll who it. designed it was Art by Anna A N A, um, but I think it's still a I think it's a free pattern. But she might want to generate your email or something. Um, but anyway, I've never made the scarf. I think it would be cute, but um. These little things are adorable. A on a wine bottle, ball, or on top of a little yarn tree. Apparently, um, uh, just the cutest. Um, remember when we were first open and we had um, Paige next door oh, right. who had the eyelash She needed salon. a gift. <laughs> she, she was like, for a holiday party. I need to buy one. And anyway, so we reluctantly turned on one. But, um, yeah, they're so cute. So whip up some of these and use them to decorate or to give, you know, when you've got your host last-minute hostess things. Yep. Um, they'll appreciate it. They th they'll think it's darling. So you can make it longer. You can make it floppy. It's fun. And then it's knit flat and then seamed up. And I, I think that's probably the quickest way to do it. Yeah. But anyway. so, um, so one thing I did those, but I also made some little wreaths. So these are like a loopy. That's from church. Mouse. Yep. Uh huh. This is, um, the, the, I don't remember what woolly, the woolly wreath it's called. And then they, they have wreath and garland. like a little mini version. So you actually, this is what you need. I guess you could use them for these too. That'd okay. Another thing. So before you get into the whole loopy thing, uh -huh. wrap yarn around these things. Yep. Bam. Yeah. Adorable. So I actually glue on a bell with these. Um, yeah. That's so these are what I did here. I made a little like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they are, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> They're super so cute. So that'd be a super easy way. And I think I, this is actually just knitted and it had like a lumpy yarn. Mm -hmm. So. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. And these embroidery hoops do come in all sizes. And I'm pretty sure if you're lucky, you can find them at, um, you know, Goodwill or something. Oh yeah. Right. Totally. Um, totally. But that would be fun too to like yeah, wouldn't put that be on, cute? Yeah. on a wine bottle. And a gift. So um, when I made these, I made, well, who, who, how I, I matched it up. We ended up having just couples at our dinner. And so each couple got a little topper. 
and a little wreath and so I made those and they were darling um, and so the loop stitch is I don't think I'm gonna show you but um, I will be I ha we actually have a video I have a video that I've never posted but I could make one to make the loop stitch it's pretty fun and I'm happy to show anybody how to do that so basically what happens is you make a little strip that is long enough to fit this circumference and then so you, then you put it on and then you just sew it in the middle and I think uh, one tip is to wrap this with the same color of yarn that you have and that way if you have any holes in your wreath it won't show oh okay yeah um also, that church mouse pattern has that whole loop stitch situation for a full-on garland. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. Um, in, I don't think I've made really, that. But. Yeah, that's a lot. Yeah. Um, but, I, you know, it, it's, not, it's beautiful. It is all it is. so pretty this time of year. And yeah. when it's dark and the lights are twinkling, it really is pretty. I know. I, I get we why. We did put some lights up so already in the store. Yep. Mm -hmm. I love well, that. What else? And by do the we time have? this airs, okay. Oh, go ahead. You talk about um, that. This is something I found last year, and I do love this project. I it's forgot cute. about it, and then I was digging through our our Christmas decorations and found this. So it's the tidings gift card holder pattern, but also she featured it as like a place setting thing. So I made Santa's place setting. Um, but also, yeah, a gift card holder is ideal with a yarn bar gift card. I know. That's like the I ultimate. But a whole, um, a beautiful table of this, you know, bring out your inner Martha Stewart. Or who is it now? <laughs> is it Martha Stewart anymore? Um, is yeah. it the gal from Waco? The Texas gal? Um, I don't know. I, I guess I still <laughs> kind of like Martha. And I actually found a big craft book at home that I have I, I meant to bring that because I thought that'd be super fun just to look at for all the crafties mm -hmm. um, so something some people may not know about Linda is many many years ago I made this pattern for this little stuffed holiday pillow and I submitted it to like a knitting calendar like oh the little, yeah those remember that? tear off like and, um, day of the i kind of got lucky they ended up putting mm -hmm. it in um in christmas eve and christmas day that was their like a feature the 24th pattern. and the 25th yep mm -hmm. oh cool yeah mm -hmm. so this is it it's actually felted so you knit it first you knit from in the middle out sorry little guy you're in the way in the middle and then you you do each little you know part of the star separate or not separate you just build those so we do have the pattern so you don't anyway. have to find the old calendar <clears throat> no which i do have at my house though well, yeah. um but anyway yeah that was just something fun and i just did a fun embroidery on it nothing fancy that's for sure a couple people used it for um made like a little flap and used it as a tooth fairy pillow <laughs> oh fun mm -hmm, that's cute <laughs> so cute, yeah cute. that okay that so we've got fun. wreaths we've got um glitter yarns yep but you know um, we were going to talk about what you didn't talk about those yet no okay barocco every oh no, these are all like i know posed. okay okay sorry <laughs> Jane. Spending some time, time on that. All right. Okay. Well, we'll do it just like that. It was just right in my face. So, you know, I. You have to like peer okay. around them. Okay. okay. I'll just move it I a little know. bit. Yeah, right that's cute. There. Okay. Isn't that cute? It is. It's, it's a pretty really like and then little this, vignette. That's adorable. Yep. It's okay. all adorable. Um, School glue. You're going to move. Well, he Bye. Did. <laughs> okay. Now it's still here, cute. We'll put this right here. Yeah. There we go. All right. So Barocco, um, on their website, Barocco Yarn Company, um, always does a little series of minis. Is this Barocco? As I'm saying this, this it is It might be old. a Scassell pattern, this maybe. Okay. But whatever. They're I'm, easy to locate. Okay. We'll little link. Minis, we'll and link. We'll find them. them for you. This is done with sock yarn, but they were luggage toppers. Um, there was a whole or series. tags, kind of. Luggage toppers. Yeah, you like, wouldn't put a topper on a luggage, well, would you? Well, they call them that because it was like to help identify your luggage. Right, yeah. I think it's a, It's cute. Yeah. 
Um, but it could also get dirty and gross. So I... <laughs> you have to just a, you know, realize what's going to happen to it when it goes through the luggage. And it might get lost. <laughs> but they, the idea is cute. And, um, but, or you can use them, um, you know, as ornaments or, or um, gift tie-ons. Yeah, I think that's a fun idea. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this one is knit with sock yarn and, and self-patterning. Like, so it just did that. And the um, tie is like an I-cord, looks uh -huh. like. Yeah. Okay, cute. so that's cute, but um, Barocco okay, put that does on this for guy. sure have many um, different shapes. Here, I'll do that. Things you, for um, um, many different things for the season that they come out with annually. Some are cuter than others. I think last year was a series of like little mini Fair Isle sweaters and a okay. cardigan. It was oh, really cute. cute. It was okay, cute. Well, let's see the little. Okay, so mini stockings. Yeah. Adorable. Like Adorbs. it's a mini. It is, I think Karen made these because yep. of our, like the little workshop she teaches oh, right. the sock in a day. Oh, yeah. We're going to do um, that again. We I, are, in, but in the new year. New year, yeah. Um, these are, so, and I have these that my grandmother made on the tree. They were like <clears throat> fine yarn and they're so cute and like vintage color, you know. Right. Okay. So adorable little stockings. This is a pattern I forgot to look up, but it oh, is actually done with worsted weight. It's cute. a, it's like a, it is a stocking and, on a mini scale. And what's this? The top is it? Was mm. that an actual yarn? Did you glue it no, on there? No, that's some actual yarn mm. that I still have in my stash. Oh, I don't well, have much left. Uh -huh. It's like it's fun darling. fur with glitter. Um, it's yeah, I don't know where I got it. Cute, Julie. I don't know. Julia might have had it at one point, like hmm. teeny little. They were hmm. little. Okay, cute. so that's cute. Okay. Um, and then okay. Uh, Blue Sky has oh, the, their little mini um, and they're mittens. so cute. They've got mittens and hats mittens and, and hats. Leaves we did and... not grab them, but they are adorable. Worsted weight goes really fast. And last year I started a tradition. I think I'll finish and keep going. Hang on, the I mittens, got, I'm gonna get something. Um, mittens to put on each kid and their significant other's packages. So they will eventually have this great little collection of mittens to put on whatever, their wreath or tree or whatever they end up doing. Just gonna hug this thing Cute here. Little sweater. sweater. Okay, and then our friend Karen also made these. This is something like a Barocco would have. Um, the little mini sweaters and put them on your tree on a ribbon for garland cute. really cute or in front of your cool counter at your yarn store right yeah. um and you know stash scraps of your sock yarn and you are good to go yeah because it's my daughter takes so karen taught this as a little workshop years and years ago and carrie was probably about knit 12. a sweater in a day she knit her first sweater when she was about 12 cute in that class Okay, and then our Joe's Toes, um, adorable shapes, stockings, kitty cats, sweaters. Hats. So these are all the little felted figures that you can totally embroider on. The hats are so fun. And um, so like the tree, if you look closely, they're already like pre-drilled, so you can kind of get an idea of where you want to mm -hmm. put your garland. Just yeah, it's kind just of a little like little a little template. Yep. Thread it through. Do little yeah, it's great, fun way. And I think to play with the colors. The sweaters have the holes drilled too, if you can see that. Yeah, so you can just do a quick yep. fair isle mm -hmm. sweater. Um, also easy to take out. We have uh, yeah, so these are here. I love the kitties. For all the cat ladies Cute, out there. I know, and they're <laughs> out there. The stocking is darling. Um, you can make it as easy or complicated as your little heart yes. desires. That pretty blue. Yeah. Um, ornament tie-ons, package tie-ons, ornament tie-ons, ornaments or package tie-ons. Yep. Or, or package tie-ons that turn into ornaments. Just cute little things to hang around your house. Piggies. 
Okay, oink, oink. and then use a little um, swatch that you made, like, you know, gauge swatch. Oh, yeah. Wrap him up. You've got a blanket for the pig, like a toy for your favorite sweet little Wouldn't one. Wouldn't that be cute in a little stocking, mm -hmm. like yeah, as a little stocking yeah. stuffer? Because, you know, and it wouldn't matter at all if somebody put this in their mouth. So they're mm -mm. cute. Yeah, they're really well, cute. And these kind of double as like a hat or a bell. Like yeah, you can they make do. it into a mm -hmm. bell, too. Yeah. But I think that they is do. probably as many crafts as I can think of today. Well, I think that we've given you some good ideas. Right. So hopefully mm -hmm. you'll use them. And then maybe just create some new things that you'll have to tell us about. That's right. And we hope everyone has a wonderful Thanksgiving holiday. Yes, we do. Happy Thanksgiving. And yep. Thanks. Thank I'm you. going to see you probably next week then. <laughs> I'll be back in person. Oh, right. If we're pretending. But <laughs> if yeah. we're pretending. Also, let's yes. take this opportunity to say we are very thankful for all of you. We are very much yeah, so. Definitely. Thank you for Thankful. being a really big part of our community. Mm -hmm. And thank you, Sue, for being so... Thanks, Linda. Wonderful. Yeah. You're a great person. You are, too. To be a good friend with and to have the shop with. Aww. So, yeah. Ditto. All right. Yep. Have a nice day. <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving. See you later.